the Hoover Pure Power, Hoover's last, I think, attempt at an new cleaner. They'd had the free flights fiasco, although I'd imagine the plans were starting to have been drawn up before then. So it is, I think I'm right in saying, the last proper UK designed and made Hoover cleaner before it all went terribly, terribly wrong. And it all went a bit foreign, made in Merthyr. So not Perry Vale, Perry Vale long gone by this point. Merthyr Tidville. It is the machine that they use to phase out the Terra Power 2 or make it a budget cleaner anyway and then they still hung on to that one red Turbo Power Junior in amongst all of this and the Pure Power is still going now as part of the, I think they call it the Dust Manager now or the Freedom, who knows, it's got some little motor nailed into it now and it's covered in stupid sprayed on paint that rubs off but on my channel this week we have Pure Power Week. Yes, I mainly because I've had a few in to do, so I thought it may as well have a whole week every day, Monday to Friday, of videos. So sit back and relax and enjoy as we look at the first machine, which is off camera here. The inventors of the Hoover Cleaner have reinvented it for today. Nowadays, many of us suffer from dust mite allergies, which most vacuums can't deal with effectively. The 1400-watt Hoover Pure Power S-Class with 99.99% filtration sucks up 40% more dust mites and allergen particles than even our most modern Hoover. Then, the Pure Power 7-stage filtration system seals them in completely. There's simply no escaping. Pure power of Hoover. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Welcome to Pure Power Week. Very excited, although as I was putting this very video together, you saw before the titles and intro, gosh that was a long intro wasn't it, an advert, thank you to my Bayesian for putting it up, as he always does, that advert would have been from the late 90s, I'm going to say 97, just because I don't actually know, and that would have been when it probably was first released. Maybe, uh, probably, maybe 2000. By the way, back when it was good, I found this advert from Hoover UK from 2012. Have a look and you can see how much they now don't care. If you prefer a bagged upright vacuum cleaner to keep dust in check, then make sure you take a look at Britain's best-selling quality bagged upright. The Pure Power stands away from the competition thanks to its hygienic dust disposal and powerful cleaning performance across all surfaces. The unique seven-stage filtration system traps allergens in the bag, so they won't be released back into your home. Every joint has a special leak-proof sealing device to maximize the airflow and enhance the dust collection process. This method is also extra hygienic, as even the finest particles of dust are picked up and trapped. You'll benefit from either HEPA filtration, which is ideal for allergy sufferers, or active carbon, depending on the Pure Power model you choose. The Pure Power delivers easy yet high performance cleaning in the most awkward spaces, such as between chairs. Simply press the foot pedal to drop the vacuum down into any of the three positions, including the flat back setting. It brings you all the support of an upright with the convenience of being able to vacuum underneath beds and other heavy furniture. Thanks to its rotating edge brushes, the Pure Power is thorough too. You can clean your carpets right up to the edge of the skirting boards. Without the need to attach a crevice tool and hose, you'll capture more dust and really notice the difference it makes to your home. This bagged upright was designed to suit every home. Take the adjustable carpet height feature. It will allow you to move the brush bar to meet the level of your carpet type or hard floor, so you'll always get the best results from your specific environment. 
The Pure Power features a long reach hose, so you can clean a full flight of 13 stairs too. Simply attach the clip to the machine and clean, while the vacuum remains stationary at the base of the stairs. This sturdy yet lightweight machine has just made cleaning the stairs a lot quicker and easier. Pure Power from Hoover. It's the best-selling quality-backed upright cleaner for a reason. Hoover. Generation Future. It's terrible, isn't it? You can tell when a company has just given up. Um, oh, I'm just put a video out. What will we do? Yeah, that'll do. They couldn't even wind the cord up properly. But enough shenanigating around with random YouTube videos because we have our first machine to look at. Yes, the before video, which this really is. Just hiding behind a start to do something clever for a week. Is this Hoover Pure Power? Auto sense. Yes, this is the very rare one with it's probably the same as Turbo Power 2, the Auto Sense Dirt function. Big thank you to James, Mr. James again, for giving me this to refurbish. What have we got? We have a U3456 from 2001 with a 1500 watt motor in it. Lots of stickers sort of trying their best to not be there. It's had an electrical test at some point because there's the remains of a PAT test sticker here. Ooh. And the whole thing is just a little bit grubby and unloved. There's also got a bit of a lean to it, which I don't think I can fix really because that normally means that the chassis has worn, the wheels are knackered. But we'll have a look at it. And while you're up here, yes, well, A, it's missing its roundel. I think I might have one of those. But we also have the AutoSense system itself. Let's have a close look at this panel. On this panel we have the on-off switch. Then, oh that's a bit loose. We have the standard buttons really. I mean, it's the same as the TerraPower 2, TerraPower 1000 style with sort of normal, then heavy dirt, and then obviously you can make it go full power by pushing that button. We'll have a close look at that in a bit. Moving further back, well, the back door is full of the graphics to say that. So we have the sealed suction seven filtration system, automatic dirt sensor, Hoover Pure Power, 1500 watts, and the roundel that is on all of them. Inside is just a little bit meh, really. And I've just noticed actually that this back door was molded in 1996. So that's hung around for pretty much five years waiting to be nailed into this cleaner. Let's spin around while you can still see. I will take the cable off. Cable is in fine condition, so we do not need to really worry ourselves with that at all. We have a fairly used, although that should come up okay, dusting brush. Um, I did have a little screwdriver somewhere, but this will do. The problem with these dusting brushes is they fill up with fluff. So if I do that, look, you can see it all starting to come out. And generally, you know, it's a great thing to do of an evening. It all comes out and will be all right. I'd imagine a good soak in boiling water will probably fix that. So we got that. There is no upholstery tool, but I have Right, you haven't seen it yet. Oh, we need to be careful with this running order. You'll see that on Wednesday. And I'll just say for now, I have a spare upholstery tool here. Look at that. That can go in there nicely, nicely. We have a scabbard tool, which has seen some... I hope that's dog. James, have you been angry a bit in your crevice tool? don't actually have a wand, although that's not difficult to find because that's just AN standard Hoover plastic wand. You can probably pick one of those up from somewhere. We have a stair cleaning and I'm pretty sure this is a stair cleaning hose. Although that clip is in completely the wrong place. There's a clip that goes onto the bottom of the machine. But I don't think it's supposed to have that much spare hose next to it so I think we need to possibly do something about that at some point and the hoses do still come off 
in fact it's roughly the same system the Turbo Power 2 had but I've had a Turbo Power 2 ones really bad and fell off quite easily this one doesn't seem so bad so we have had hose let's see what state the exhaust filter is in which sits under here oh now oh, that's a good sign look lots of carbon dust everywhere this was also made in 1996. Uh, it's not actually as bad as I was expecting. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie there. That's that's has been replaced. I think. Sadly, I think it is paper. So I probably. It's also not genuine. I'll be honest. I think it's. Yeah, that's paper. So I can't put that through the washing machine. That's going to have to be replaced. Have seen worse though. It's not too bad, as you will see in tomorrow's video when we take another one apart so there's the exhaust filter that's not bad that's okay we can deal with that now the achilles heel of the entire hula pure power range even today is this stupid pedal here which isn't too bad on this but as you can see even pushing it down it's just really, really terrible. Oof. And doesn't flow very well at all. And I think the chassis is broken. Certainly the wheels are. Because there is a lot of wobble on these wheels. Terrible amount of slop. And I don't think we can... You can't really take them off without tools. So we won't have a look at it now. But when I refurbish it, I do have a set of brand new wheels which will hopefully fix that quite well. Ooh, does it have a bag fitted? Yes, it does. Is it a genuine bag? Uh, no, it's not, but it's new enough. But I've got some genuine bags, I think they're here. Yes, I do, but I've got a couple of genuine bags there, so that's fine. I think I've even got some filters. So that's okay. We'll leave these in for now. Obviously, it's got the bag holder. This one is for 1999. These are the ones that Mr. Hoover Lux nails into every single possible Hoover dust manager that he can find. Ah! And that black mark on there is the sensor. In fact, you can see it better here. God, that's disgusting. That is the auto sen sensor that you can see that there and then it sort of runs off to the top. That's the acoustic speaker microphone. Basically when the dirt hits it, that's what throws the lights on. We'll have a play with that at a very short period of time. Pre-motor filter isn't too bad. It is not terrible condition, I'll be honest. It's alright. It's seen some use. But it's not completely wrecked and it's so so rare being the auto sense version that it needs to be saved Ooh, right. let's have a look underneath where we find not the original brush roll and James did say this he said that he this did have an activator style brush roll I've got one from a turbo power 2 here basically is one of those in fact yeah but it might have been the same one. Basically, yeah, the activated brush roll was fitted to the earlier Pure Powers. I don't know what date they stopped doing it. I'm imagining, hopefully, Steve Jones will comment because he knows everything about these and has been very helpful on the projects that you'll see later on in the week. But Jay said it was rubbish on his carpet, so he lobbed in one of the later style ones, which worked fine. So as much as I don't fully agree with it, I'm not going to change it because he likes it. Apart from that, it's very clean. It's not really that worn. It's, you know, just used. I mean, the whole thing isn't bad. It's, 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 just, it's just not bad. It's okay. Poor little thing is absolutely grey with scratches. There's the, old, there's the height adjustment there. I think we better turn it on, don't you? Now, we'll turn it on, but we need to work out how this works. Let's tilt you down a little bit so we can go a little bit closer. Because obviously this is all 
I... There we go. This all turns on with the machine, and I don't actually know what setting it normally goes in. The Turbo Power 2 is going to sort of a middle setting. So, basically... That's nearly soft start. So we have the middle light on, which is the dirt light. Motor sounds very good, that's okay. You can hear it dropping the voltage though when you go around the settings, but it never seem to go back to the middle setting. Until you turn it on, off and on again. So what we're gonna quickly do is I'm going to off camera vacuum up some Cheerios and hope that they bounce off of the sensor enough that it will change the settings. So I'm gonna leave it on the middle one and we'll see what we can see. Keep an eye on the lights for me. That's quite cool. So as long as it's in that middle setting, I you haven't pushed the button to change it from low or to high, the auto sense feature kicks in and it takes two slightly stale Cheerios to make it happen. I wonder how that compares to the older style of system. Well, to try and find out, I've kind of got my Turbo Power 1000 down. Which also has auto sense. It'll be the same auto sense as a Turbo Power 2, with the same sort of thing sat in the bag fill chamber malarkey. So, in theory, we can work out how it works. I have the nozzles ready here. Although, let's just check how this fires up. So, this one goes straight into the middle setting, and then if you block off the hose. to the other setting and then doesn't seem to do anything after that it will stay in the low setting permanently until until he puts a dirt in I can't remember how this works so let's try it It works in the same way. Middle. But then this doesn't seem to automatically go down to luck. It just stays there. Oh, it does. I think they're exactly the same system. This is a little bit faster to change than this, but they seem to do exactly the same thing. They both come in, if, if I leave the on button in on that one, and hang on. So 
So that hasn't got a pushed in button. This is pushed in now, so if I turn it on, it should go straight to high. Oh, this stinks. But this one, I'm not sure if it will. It doesn't. It doesn't. That automatically defaults back to the middle setting. Obviously this has a very full bag on it. This does it. I think the last time we saw this was... No, it wasn't on that bus. I, I don't know why the bag's saw It absolutely reeks, I'll be honest. We're going to stop using this now. <laughs> We're going to concentrate on this. But yeah, basically, I, I'd imagine... I mean, if I... Take all this gubbins off... Yes, it is, look. Ooh. It's got the same acoustic... Microphone setup. So I'd imagine the Terra Power 2 is absolutely flipping identical. I think this must, this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I reckon this is the last AutoSense machine. That's filthy. That Hoover ever did? God, I might, I don't have a reputation to put on the line, so I'm not entirely fussed about that. But it's got to be getting on. I'm not sure, no, they must have, they must have used the AutoSense for something else. Don't think that's right. Right, we'll get this out of the way because we don't want this and we shall see how this currently picks up dirt and debris. Now because the carpet isn't too filthy I'll be honest, it's certainly not going to trigger off the auto sense function. I have put a thin layer of sand down just to see if we can make it Trigger the auto sense. I'm going to turn it on, leave it as it comes, and we'll see what happens. Very well at all, and that could be because of the brush roll, because obviously it's not beating the carpet. And with the sand, it needs to beat it. So let's let's just check what agitation we have, if any. So we have our pile of sand. Oh, the filter covers popped off. There we go. Now if I just decline the machine, try not to do it standing up, we'll see if we actually have any bounce. to think it was popping off. No, there is no oh, agitation at all. So let's see if we can adjust that slightly. Because I have here a pure power activator brush roll. 
so we can see if it makes a difference. Now we know how this carpet does or can bounce stuff around in a very unscientific way from obviously all the many other videos that we have done. So in theory maybe, oh, look at that. In theory, it might be all right. I'm also going to take a quick look at this release pedal, which actually seems okay. Although it doesn't push down very easily. That's how you snap them. Just be a little bit careful. But oh, there's, there's sand all up here as well. But we don't care about that. We'll take this out. Obviously, I'm going to give this back to James because for his precise carpet applications, he does get on with the non-activator better. But I do have a sneaky little thing here because I've been shopping for this and another one that I'm doing which you won't see yet, you'll see that tomorrow. And I, I, I have bought some new belts and this will get one of these belts. Oh wow! So I think for the interest of doing it fairly we will lob a brand new belt on it as well. It would have got it anyway on the refurb but in fact no, should we? No, this is the before video. No, we won't. I do have a new belt, but we won't show that now. We shall keep to this belt. <laughs> and we shall do it properly. Cool, that really is knackered. So obviously then in the after video, I can show you it, how well it might work otherwise. So there we go. That's a genuine belt though. What the part number's saying? 0385, they are exactly the same part number, just a different design. So no, we shall leave that for now. And we shall carry on as we are, because I don't want to skew the results. And we'll see what makes the most difference, a worn-ish belt or a brush roll. Put that on, or put that back on, because I'll leave this in here now until I take the machine apart from its actual refurb. The height setting is on low. We'll put another pile of sand down and just spread it about a little bit and we'll get you back on the floor. Like so. Is there any difference? Just need to pop the hose back in because I haven't. Otherwise I'll get sand everywhere. So yes, the brush roll does make a difference and it was actually slightly better in position two. Maybe we should put that back in quickly and do it in number two. Hang on again. I might leave you in handheld mode for this. So there's the old belt. That's a sneak peek of Wednesday's video. Uh, does this work any better on position two? It does. That brush roll is actually fine on position two. It doesn't sound as 
deep down vibrating is the activator. This one has slightly more brushes, but James doesn't want the activator. James prefers this one. The customer is always right. And here we are, basically. This will do. This is the before video of this very rare Pure Power Auto Sense. Hopefully the next time we see this, which will be Friday, I shall not lie to you, it is Pure Power Week, you shall see this again this week, we started the week with it, we shall end the week with it. Tomorrow we have a U3155 in green, Wednesday we have that, Thursday we shall have the after video of the green one, and on Friday we shall see this again, obviously there will be many weeks of work for me, but you shall all see it. In one week so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed pure power week see if we have power cleaning by the end of it so thank you very much for watching and i shall see you soon bye bye